What's dripping and thank you for stopping by and tuning in in today's video. We just got hit with a major update in this pack. So I'll be covering the new hit list event that dropped today and give you some tips and tricks to help you unlock the challenges easily. The return of Rebirth Island as well and some more juicy content, but I'm not gonna hold you no longer. Let's dive in. So here we are in the event tab and immediately if you look to your right, you will see there's a personal and community tab. The community tab is for everyone to complete together and of course, the personal tab is for you to complete. Now, as you see, you have to get elimination against the French Syndicate rivals to unlock the reward, which means enemies, which can be done within multiplayer, zombies, and war zone. For multiplayer, it's one score per elimination, one score for every five elimination for zombies, and for war zone, it's five score per elimination. There's also a Hell's Cleaner bundle you can purchase that has the power drill that's included, which you do get the power drill at the end of these personal challenges. Okay, for the personal personal challenges you see that we get a epic loading screen which is called the big plans right here but you got to get a hundred eliminations in order to unlock this now moving along for a rare calling card which is called elimination game you have to get 250 kills to unlock this as well then moving along there's a epic emblem which is called the evidence which is pretty dope but you have to get 500 kills to unlock this next for the legendary weapon charm which is called the targeted you have to get 750 kills then to unlock the power drill melee which is this new weapon you have to get one 1,000 kills to unlock this. And it's, it looks dope as heck right now. Okay, over here in the community tab, you see we have to get a lot of eliminations in order to, to unlock each of these items. Now, for the community total, you already see we already had 233 million, which is a lot. To unlock the buffer weight stock, we do as a community have to get 8 billion eliminations. And if you go up here to the shadow perk, we have to get 16 billion eliminations. And then for the hand cannon score streak, which I believe this is like the annihilation gun that they had in BO4, which we do have to get 24 billion eliminations. And then for a war zone perk, which is called veteran, you do, as it says, we have to get 32 billion eliminations. And to unlock the new 79 millimeter special handgun, we got to get 50 billion as a whole community. So let's make sure we do this to get this unlocked, which I'm pretty sure this is going to be easy for us to achieve. Now for the best tip I can give would be playing war zone or a resurgent based game mode, such as area 99 or rebirth island since it did return. Keep in mind, if you get 10 kills, then that's 50 score elimination that will go towards your reward progression. But regardless, go have fun. Just know I'm rooting for you to get your personal challenges done. You do have about two weeks before the event ends, so go slay out. And speaking of Rebirth Island, it has now returned, and I'm sure there are a lot of players who's excited that it's back, because I know I am as well, though. When it first launched, the community was reporting that it would have an issue while playing the game, but from these patch notes, it goes on to address them as it states. Thank you for your patience the last few days as we were to bring Rebirth Island back to the Warzone playlist. We wanted to take the necessary time to address key issues and make improvements to ensure the best possible experience. It also goes on to say that a number of lighting and audio adjustments have been made to improve gameplay. I can say on my end that I'm glad they addressed the issue. We have to just go play and see if those changes were actually addressed. Moving along to the general section, the Warzone Armory has been re-enabled. That's what it says, so let me know if it has or has not. For the XP battleson, they have increased the XP and Battle Royale and Plunder, and also increased the Weapon XP and Plunder and Resurgence. They stated that they have made several adjustments to player and weapon XP in order to bring earn rate across different modes closer together. So that's a big W right there. Now, Stem Shots has received a major buff, which it really, really needed it. No, it got a lot of backlash because it was nerfed. It says the speed boost direction has been increased from one second to to three and i'm really not sure why they even nerfed this to begin with but hey they reverted it back and now those demon players are happy so in summary they temporarily reduced both the speed increase and the duration of stem shots while they had worked on a solution so now i guess they found this solution so it says so now both resolute and stem shot provide a 15 percent speed boost each with their combined effect capping at 20 percent so we got to be happy with that right they also removed an unintentional delay that pre previously prevented players from interacting with the armor, munition, utility box when initially deployed. So W on that one. Now for the bug fixes, they did fix an issue on Area 99 that would call players to hear kill streaks from across the map, which 
which I'm pretty sure that was like mad annoying. They also fixed the issue that would cause players to drop a weapon involuntarily while attempting to pick up a different weapon from the ground. Now, I know I had that experience. I didn't like it. It slowed you down. And then by the time you know it, you have to get killed. They also fixed the issue that will prompt players to remove an aftermarket part from their weapon despite not being currently equipped. They also fixed the issue that caused the STB 556, the assault rifle body to disappear when equipping an underbear attachment. Now on the multiplayer side of things, they have a playlist update, which they have added the 10v10 mods pit to quick play. Also hardcore 10v10 mods pit to hardcore quick play. They also added hideout, extraction, and protocol to the 10v10 map pool. All right, y'all listen here. Rain play received a restriction update. So the RCXD has been restricted in all modes. I know that had to be annoying for most players. They also addressed the issue where some matches would unintentionally end in a draw which, dang, that, that, I know that kind of sucked though. And for the UI, they addressed the issue where SR would sometimes display incorrectly after a match and also where a player would sometimes be stuck with no UI after a match ended when they are max level. Moving on to Zombies, Zombies did get a movement update which they addressed an issue where players would be slowed down when reloading while sprinting. So they want to make sure that the experience got a bit smoother and faster. So big W on that one. They also addressed the issue that could prevent the box addict dark op challenge to not track properly Properly. And lastly, more stability issue of some sort, like whatever that means, right? Now, this done wrapped up today's video. I'm excited to get this event completed. I'm sure you are as well. And also, like myself, Rebirth Island and back. So I know y'all excited for that. If you enjoyed today's content, then consider subscribing to the channel. To stay up to date with all things related to Call of Duty content. And it'll be a nice to have you a part of the community as well. And remember to eat good and sleep good. One love.